I hadn't actually seen any of Carmilla, but I had heard about it because I knew it had had a huge amount of success. And I am on another show called Winona Earp, which is amazing. <laughs> um, and we have a very similar fan base. So I had actually met Elise and Tasha at Clexicon very, very briefly. Um, because I also play an LGBT relationship, a lesbian relationship, on my other show. So we had met there and I'd heard about the show. And then when I got the offer, of course, I went and binge watched the entire show. Three seasons in four days? Whilst doing my taxes. <laughs> I had, um, and I, my first question to Spencer was, is the film going to be shot in block form? And he's like, no, no, it'll be shot completely like a feature. Because that was, that was interesting, that just the major stylistic difference. I had, yeah. I had seen Carmilla before. Uh, I, I worked with uh, Steph and Mel, the producers, on a show called Inhuman Condition. That was amazing. I was really very interested in playing this role. I think that the Carmilla web series does such an incredible service to their fans. I think that the positive representation of queer characters is so important and so beautifully done in this, in this web series. And as well, knowing that I would be playing sisters with Grace Lin Kung, who is Taiwanese Chinese, and I myself am Ojibwe, and we're playing the Bronte sisters and we're doing this dialect. Like, I don't ever get to wear dresses like this or hair like this as, as a First Nations woman. And so to be able to just imagine a different world where, where we can have this kind of diverse casting and it's, it works and it's, ah, oh, it just shows a different idea of what is possible. And I am about that. I feel like we're not constrained, this is one of the few films where we're not constrained by gender, we're not constrained by, um, by like binary definitions either, and we're, we're not constrained by time. We cross all of that and we put together this sort of like potpourri of um, mishmash of characters who might have been outsiders in the world that they were in. Um, and also for me it's very special because as, uh, as a person of color, I never get to be in a period film. This is the first time, other than being in school, when I got to do like restoration, um, that I've been able to do a period piece. So I play the role of Elle, and she is actually Carmilla's former lover. We met in 1872 and fell madly in love. We were planning to move away to New York when Carmilla's mother told me that Carmilla is a vampire. Carmilla's mum then betrayed my trust and told me she was going to take me travelling, travelling around the world, and I was never to be seen again until now. I've returned as the ghost of Elle and my mission is to get my human life back. Emily is, uh, she's, she's trapped with her sister Charlotte Bronte, also of course an accomplished author and poet and uh, through a, a series, a strange turn of events, we encounter, of course, Carmilla and the Scoobs. Well, Charlotte's very interesting because in real life, our timelines don't quite make up and we're not exactly like real iterations of the real life uh, Charlotte Bronte and Emily Bronte. So it's almost like an interpretation of Charlotte Bronte. My favorite part of the script is the scene between Carmilla and I back in the day and also the scene between myself and Elise with the tea set. You know, naturally, it's because that's what I got to do, but I was, I was really excited when coming onto this project to work with both of those actresses and I just think they're really meaty, full scenes where, and completely different to one another, um, that show a huge range of Elle's life. So possibly a little bit biased, but I really, really, really like those scenes. Like, we made this, we made this for you. We made this for you. So I really hope that you like it and I hope you think it's funny and cool and I hope it moves you and I hope that you love the characters as much as I do. Um, 
Thank you for being so welcoming and allowing me to come on as a, as a cream puff myself. Can I call myself cream puff? I think I can, absolutely, because I'm an earther, so I would be a cream puff. Um, really, really happy to be part of your little gang and I really, really hope I don't let you down. Both Carmilla and Winona Earp um, are really doing something very exciting not only for the LGBT representation, but also just pushing the boundaries of what we see on TV. They question like what we see on TV and just try and break down the mold, which is what we should all be doing really with art, just everybody pushing in the right direction with issues that really matter. Um, I think that's really exciting for viewers. If this business is good for anything, it's about making people feel less alone in the world. And I feel like this particular storyline is really speaking out to so many pockets of people, um, people who have felt maybe in the shadows for a long time and finally they find a voice that speaks to them, that makes them feel like they are not alone, that they are just, they're just as much as part of this experience and they can be enhanced and they can be buoyed and they can be inspired um, by this world and, and and laugh and then get up and do the things that they really want to do and not be afraid of that. So um, my hope for this movie is that it continues to grow that audience and, and makes us understand how similar we really are.